I'm going to be demonstrating a couple new technologies from Kickstand. Uh, the first is called Stretch Mesh, and this is a deformer for Maya that gives you some really nice stretchy behavior. Uh, it's great for setting up characters or really anywhere you want a stretchy characteristic to your surface. And the second is called Facelift, and this is Kickstand's system for rigging faces. It's based on the Stretch Mesh technology, but it has some specific features uh, for rigging faces. So let me get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just create a polygonal sphere and assign a stretch mesh deformer to it. So you can start to get an idea of the behavior that the stretch mesh gives you. Okay, so as I move these vertices around, you can see that that, uh, that motion is, is distributed across the surface. It sort of propagates across the whole surface. So you get this really nice stretchy behavior. Uh, let me actually turn off the stretch mesh so you can get an idea of what it's doing. So you can see it distributes that deformation across the whole surface. Uh, one thing I quickly want to touch on is the difference between a soft modification and the stretch mesh. A soft modification is essentially a transform and a fall off. But a stretch mesh you can think of as an inherent stretchiness to your surface. So any deformations you apply upstream will be affected by the stretch mesh. It's really like a built-in stretchiness to the surface. Uh, but the stretch mesh can be applied to any arbitrary surface. So let's take a look at that. So I've got a character head here. I'm just going to apply a stretch mesh deformer. and I can start pulling around the vertices of the head and you can see I get that nice stretchy behavior. So this has actually been really useful as a modeling tool as well. Um, if you want some you know if you want to make some gross changes to your character you can just start grabbing vertices and pulling them around and you get pretty intuitive results. Okay, so Stretch Mesh also has some collision object functionality, which um, I'm going to demo quickly. So I've just got two polygonal spheres. The one on the left, uh, I just applied a Stretch Mesh deformer to it. And then I'm going to add the sphere on the right as a collision object. So you can see as I move the collision object, towards this, the stretch mesh, it's pushing the vertices of the stretch mesh out of the way. And this is more of a sliding effect than a sticky effect, so this is great for getting skin sliding over bone and muscle sorts of effects. So let me hide the collision sphere and let's take a closer look at what's going on here. So you can see that there's a nice deformation between the vertices that aren't colliding and those that are. And again, that's because this is a stretch mesh, and so the vertices that are colliding are kind of affecting the nearby vertices, and that, that deformation is being nicely distributed across the surface. Okay, so in this scene, I've got a stretch mesh deformer applied to the checker plane, and then the sphere is added as a collision object. So you can see as I move the sphere around, it's, it's pushing the vertices of the stretch mesh out of the way. So you can start to get an idea of the kinds of skin sliding effects you can get using the stretch mesh. Uh, and the collision objects don't have to be primitives. They can be any sort of modeled mesh you might have. Okay, so the stretch mesh also has a stiffness attribute per vertex. So let me demonstrate that really quickly. So I've just got two polygonal planes here. Uh, the one on the left is just a regular polygonal plane, and as I move vertices around you get that expected behavior. And then the mesh on the, l on the right, I'm going to assign a stretch mesh deformer to it. And as I move this guy around, you get that stretchy behavior. 
but let's say I want to uh, I want this these selected vertices to appear more rigid I want them to sort of maintain their stiffness a little bit more so I can do that by increasing the stiffness attribute so you can see as I crank up the stiffness they kind of appear to maintain their shape a little better and if I crank up the stiffness all the way to one I'm essentially removing any effect from the stretch mesh but I'm only modifying the stiffness on the selected vertices so these other these unselected vertices just have the default stretch uh, stiffness value so if I crank up the stiffness stiffness on the entire mesh you can see I, I get to a state like this on the left so the stiffness is a great way to really customize and fine-tune the effect of the stretch mesh so in the case of a character, for example, you might want certain parts of the character to appear more rigid and kind of maintain their shape a little better, where other parts of the character you want to appear very stretchy and kind of get the benefits of the stretch mesh deformer. Okay, so another strength of the stretch mesh is that it can be used in combination with other Maya deformers uh, to get some really nice results. So I've just got a polygonal cylinder here, and I'm going to apply a cluster deformer to a handful of these vertices. And as I move that around, you get the expected cluster behavior. But let's add a stretch mesh deformer to it and see what we get. So you get that nice stretchy behavior. And let's see what kind of results we can get if we combine the stretch mesh with uh, rigid binding. So I'm just going to rigid bind the cylinder to that joint chain. And of course with rigid binding you get this sort of crashing here on this side and then some undesirable behavior over on this side. So let's add a stretch mesh deformer. And there you can see that I get some nice, that nice stretchy behavior across the surface of the mesh, kind of distributing that deformation smoothly. But if this were a character's arm, I would want to kind of imply an elbow back here and sort of preserve volume a little bit better. So that's a great opportunity to use collision objects. Let's take a look at that. So I'm just going to create a sphere and and add that as a collision object. Okay, so now as I rotate this guy around you can see the vertices of the cylinder appear to be sliding over that collision sphere. And of course I could fine-tune this um, this effect by increasing the stiffness on some of the cylinder vertices or re-sculpting that sphere collision object to appear more like an elbow. Um, let me actually show what it looks like to move that sphere around. Okay, so you can see that this collision effect is, is live. So in other words, as I move this sphere around, uh, the vertices of the cylinder are being pushed out of the way. So I can scale it, I can move it around, I can re-sculpt it, and kind of customize the effect. Okay, so that's an overview of the stretch mesh. Um, we're going to be adding information to the site as we go, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demo and thanks for watching.